erosion and accretion. Beaches change their form constantly due to wave action, currents and tides. Human activities also contribute significantly to these changes. The combination of these factors cause erosion or accretion. Erosion occurs when the beach loses sand or other sediments, diminishing its size. Accretion occurs when sand or other materials are added to the beach, therefore it increases in size. You can measure these changes. Next, we will show you how to do so. Activity, measuring erosion and accretion over time. A simple way to observe how a beach changes over time is to measure the distance from a fixed object behind the beach towards the high water mark. The high water mark is the highest point reached by waves on a particular day. It is important to keep in mind that changes in the tidal range will depend on the geographical position of your study area. For example, in the Caribbean, the variation in tides can be approximately one foot or 0.3 meters. However, in the Pacific, the variation in tides is greater than three feet or one meter. Remember to be consistent with the measurements. Repeat these measurements during the same tidal states. In other words, if your measurements were taken during high tide, all subsequent measurements should be taken at high tide. The following materials are necessary for these measurements. Pencil, data sheet, clipboard, tape measure, camera. Once you have all the materials, complete the following steps. Procedure. Number one. Locate the three reference points that you marked during your first visit to the beach. Refer to video 4 for a detailed explanation of the necessary steps for marking these points. Remember that after dividing the beach into three points, you must select a reference mark at each point and take pictures of it. This reference mark will be used to measure the width of the beach. Number 2. With two people, one standing in the reference point and another at the high water mark, lay the tape measure on the sand and pull the tape tight. Number three, record the distance in meters and centimeters or feet and inches. Number four, record the date the measurement was taken. Number five, proceed to the next reference point and repeat the previous steps. Number six, Remember to mark your reference points with letters or numbers, A, B, C, or 1, 2, 3, in order to differentiate them. Number 7. It is recommended that you measure a minimum of three reference points. Number 8. Repeat these measurements once a month. Number 9. Use this data to create a graph that indicates the changes that have occurred at your beach over time. In the end, you will be able to determine if your beach is eroding or accreting and with what frequency these processes occur. The next video will explain how to measure a beach's profile. Continue to do the activities of Sandwatch and explore the continuous changes that occur at your coasts.